Where's this supposed to go now? Up there? Let's turn around and get a little bit of a run up to it. Otherwise this doesn't work. Hey, welcome back to the Free Mouse MC. I am today in Reykjavik and I'm currently in my Airbnb. It's actually really nice here. I decided to treat myself a little bit because uh, this was actually not that expensive and that was really nice. And the best thing is I have a little kitchen right here. So I just had some of my leftover pizza I made yesterday for breakfast. And we will today have a look at the Blue Lagoon. And I will now get on the road onto my motorcycle and will tell you how my time in Reykjavik was so far. So, the sun is shining today in Iceland. It is still like really cold, but we will do. And I really like the sunshine for today because usually it's always just incredibly cold and constantly raining and hail and everything. So let's store the camera. I actually really like that I'm today out with less luggage and this is basically just a little day trip. And the swimming pants right here. It's all good, so let's go. This was to be expected, so let's try one more time with the choke. This thing doesn't work. So the usual procedure. We will have to push start this thing again. This is, I think, for the rest of the trip becoming a regular occurrence. Kind of sucks, but it is what it is. So let's go. Let's just roll the bike down here and see if that is enough to turn it on. So this is not really enough to get the bike going, but it starts to run. But uh, that was really forced. like. There was a lot of force behind that push from down the mountain and it still struggled to get going. Oh no, don't turn off, don't turn off, don't turn off now. So I'm so glad about the sunshine today here in Reykjavik. We still have about six degrees and I don't even have my rain gear on because honestly the rain gear is so annoying. So I kind of took the bet now that the sunshine will last longer than three minutes because sometimes the sun just comes out here only for it to rain horrendously right after with ice pieces in the rain. So about being in Reykjavik, there was this horrendous storm that made it almost impossible to ride the motorcycle as you've seen in the last few episodes. And I waited the rest of that out in Reykjavik and I had a really good time socializing and I actually got invited to a dark metal concert with like, from an Icelandic band and that was really special and I had a look at the Rainbow Street here in Reykjavik which was really beautiful and also went to this church that has those special stones that was incredible and I had some nice sushi actually the sushi was uh, with I think with fish from around Iceland because it wasn't with salmon and stuff but it was like with mostly tuna and so on it was really nice so and I will also um, spend another day in Reykjavik when I come back from here. This is kind of a day trip where I just go to the Blue Lagoon, which is also really nice because I don't have that much gear on me. And like I don't have the rucksack on the back and everything. That is just so relaxing and so nice and makes to shoot these videos way easier. And I will come back uh, tonight to Reykjavik because I met someone quite nice that I still want to spend some time with. And that is just really beautiful. And I can also just recommend to anyone who travels like this, if something like this happens to you, take the time and spend social, social time. Yeah, and this uh, dark metal band was actually kind of wild for me. It's usually not my kind of group, but I tried anything once and it was actually 
nice I had a good time and I'll play you some clips of it right here uh, I don't think that there will be any copyright issues because yeah So let's go to the Blue Lagoon. You say you wanna kiss me till the morning, till the light, the light. I wish that I was here for more than just one night, one night. Losing track of time, dreaming under stars above oh. It makes me feel so high, that's why I'm crazy For your love, your love, your love So, I've out here found this little dirt track and I love exploring stuff like this a little bit and I mean we still have the suitcases on the back that potentially can fall off from this but this is actually really nice and fun I'm just trying still to keep my feet dry it's still really windy but I love stuff like this hitting a little bit of throttle on a road like this is also just cool feeling the rear get loose like you truly don't need an adventure bike for this kind of stuff you're so fine with a bike like this and it's actually so fun already. Actually, this little trail here besides the road is just so fun to just fly over here. For that stuff like this, the dirt tires are definitely worth it. Also, the dirt tires handle so fine on the road as well, actually, which I didn't expect. I'm trying to not go too fast and get too cocky, because if, if there's something unexpected, it can throw me off. Earlier in the hills was so fun. I constantly was like bouncing up and down on the bike. <laughs> Honestly, I've ridden like Enduros before, not like like the XL500 and the BMW um, GS310, uh, and of course they are awesome bikes. But I just love the feeling of a bike that's not supposed to be here. Like I just love that this bike feels so low at the same time, and that you can feel so much in your hips while this thing is about to move, and that I can just wrestle it around because it's like so lower to the ground and I don't know I, I just love this oh, where is this supposed to go now up there that seems like a scary climb for sure let's turn around and get a little bit of a run up to it otherwise this doesn't work Wow! Whoa. <laughs> How cool! Honestly, that's such a fun way to ride a motorcycle. It's so good. Oh, I found another little road next to the road that we're supposed to go over. Let's go! Also, I love feeling the gearing of this bike on roads like this because it's not supposed to be on this and the gearing is really sporty so you have like not really sporty there are definitely sportier gears but you have like uh long gears that are just when the wheel starts to spin are really fun like this is ridiculously fun 
Mm. I have to admit, like, I love this. Just like going into the curve, having the wheel block. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Yo, this is amazing. I love this. Honestly, for anyone who owns a cheaper bike where they're like, oh yeah, I'm a ride with doing some wild stuff with it. Put some off-road tires on that thing and go over some, some like side roads because that is ridiculously fun. Oh, and we also have a really beautiful look at the sea over there. How amazing. Okay, let's finish the rest of this road. Ah, oh, just the view from here. I'm sorry, that I'm, I'm looking forward to the pools, you know, but how it, this is so great that the pools cannot really top this right now. And I'm having just a blast of a time. I didn't expect to have that much fun on the way here. Also, it's probably because I have my gear and my rucksack and everything at home. Not at home, but like in the Airbnb. So I'm just way more relaxed on the bike right now. So... Let's get back to the normal road. Got the feeling in your bones. Make you feel right at home. Hon it does it does it well. So we now made it to the blue lagoon. Let's check it out. So, well, that was underwhelming. I mean, the Blue Lagoon actually looked really beautiful, but I wanted to go swimming there and I already knew it would be kind of expensive, but I thought like 40, 60 euros. Uh, that's kind of what the internet gave me. Then when I arrived there, it was 14,000 Icelandic currency and that would have been roughly around 100 euros and that was just too much. Also, I had a look at it and as you've seen in the edit, that thing looks like a public pool, like like the the part where you can go actually swimming. Um, all the beautiful part is, is not where you go swimming, so yeah. I mean, I kind of already knew that it would be a bit underwhelming. My, my original goal was the volcano where you can see uh, lava coming out. But the thing is, that thing is not active anymore, so you cannot see any lava anymore. So I thought I watched the Blue Lagoon instead. That's sometimes the thing with traveling. Whatever plans you make often don't really work out that well, but in general, I'm still having an amazing time. I love the roads on the way here, so going back to Reykjavik, I will enjoy some more of this. And I also found a little point at the coast where I can see the sea from like a really high cliff, and I want to check that out. So that is what we will do now. Also, the, the TKC80 tire that I have on this bike also handles amazing in the curves, by the way. Like, n not super amazing, but like, uh, for it being a knobby tire, really good. So we're now getting really close to the lookout point for the ocean. Like the thing when doing stuff like this that worries me the most are actually my suitcases because um, I'm scared of losing them because some uh, I already lost one of them multiple times and sometimes the hinges open and then one of them is an expensive camera that I need for like my uh, normal job, you know? Oh, I can already see the sea over there. So this is the last bit we have to go over. Oh, from here upon becomes wild. Is that normal volcano sand? Yeah, let's maybe not do that. This is far as far as we are going to go, because there's sand, and I think I could go through it. But the last time I thought I could go through something, it ended in eight hours of work. So, 
we're going to just look at it, the sea from here. How beautiful. <laughs> and with the waves crashing over there. Okay, let's make our way back to Reykjavik. So, we've now made our way back to Reykjavik and I hope that you guys enjoyed me taking the bike on to some trails today and I had a lot of fun, it was really good um, I was a bit disappointed by the Blue Lagoon but I think it was really beautiful to see so let's make our way back to my place to stay <laughs> 